Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another trailer reaction by the Last Slice Podcast. It's your boy Bodega Cat. It's your boy Drill Boy. What up, Internet? Got Jimbo the Kid over here. And uh, yeah, we uh, recently took a look at Black Adam. Looks pretty promising. Yes, yes. So now we're just uh, going down the DC line because DC's coming out heavy. I'm a little worried for Marvel. Not really. Not worried. Said, no, Not no really. <laughs> Never worried at all. If there's Marvel's more- Deontay Wilder and DC is Tyson Fury, baby. We're coming oh, out with haymakers. Oh, DC's dead. coming out with haymakers, baby. Oh, so the dead. DC fans, Listen. we're out here. Hey, DC's coming in strong. <laughs> These guys are all haters. They, I dealt with them for years. And this is our time. This is our time to shine now. Oh, so God. bask in it, baby. Bask in it. If there's something that DC does right, it's their animated series. All the animations, all the cartoons that DC does, they do it freaking right. Yeah. So, I mean, their movies, some are good, some are meh. But, uh, you know, I'm really excited to see what they got coming up in the next coming year. And I actually think they may put Marvel a little bit of run for their money. Just a little. Oh, no, we're taking the whole bag, baby. We're taking the whole bag. Listen, you got TV shows. I'll give you TV shows, too. Because Arrow, Flash, those are good TV shows. Yeah. Right, Doom Patrol is pr- is really good. Titans, Titans bro. is good. I haven't finished any of those. Yeah. You gotta watch uh, yeah. Titans. But Gotham you gotta is watch my it. favorite. Yeah, Gotham is addicting. Gotham, Gotham is, is pretty show. good. I heard about it. So, you know, I, I'll give you guys that. But uh, now I'm glad you're coming back to to the universe. Uh, thank you, Zack Snyder, for remaking that film better. I appreciate you. Because that cut of the film was so much better. Way better oh, than hell the, yeah. So much better. Way better hell than yeah. the, the I don't care the that it was original. four hours long. Yeah. It was beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. It put context to a lot of characters. Cyborg. Yes. They, they did my damn man dirty yeah. in yeah, the they original. Did. The, oh, first, yeah. the first the first release. They oh, cut yeah. out so much uh footage of him, a lot of backstory for Cyborg. The whole it was a whole story. Yeah. And you didn't get that in the first no. release. And the second release, you're like, all this stuff now makes sense. Right. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. All right. So, all right, boys, this is the uh, the Flash, the first look teaser trailer in five, four, three, two, one. Greetings, DC fandom oh, and dumbers. What? Ezra Miller here. John Lennon. from the set of The Flash. John like Lennon. This. What is he wearing? We're very excited to show you the movie, uh, and we can't yet because we're still making it. Wasn't we he wanted to show you a teaser, but we You're can't trying. because we don't have enough material to make a teaser yet. We, we can't make a trailer, uh, but we do have this small sneak peek that my maestro Andy and I have put together that we really hope you'll enjoy. And I will see you in theaters later next year, or Ooh. more importantly, you will see me. Now, this is a trailer. Tell me something. What are you talking about? You can go. Anywhere you want, right? Any timeline. Chills. Any universe. Oh, my got a new suit? Oh, that oh, suit. You got a new I suit? Crap. Why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? You heard him fight to save this you one. You changed the future. And you change the past. Oh, the in the flash ring. Oh! <laughs> Amen. Oh shit! They got, oh! They got multiple berries. No way. No way. Stop it. No way. No way. Let's go, baby. I'm assuming that was the Batmobile. That's the OG one from uh, Bro. Michael yo, Keaton. Yo, you guys are done. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming for you. Yeah. We're coming for yeah. you. Wait, so you said there was another berry? That, that there was, was multiple yeah, berries. Yeah, there was two berries in that yeah. one scene. And then that was Supergirl because Supergirl is going to so, be in this too as well. Is this playing the Flash Paradox thing? Yeah, so this is a uh, flashpoint. Flashpoint, essentially. So essentially, he could go back and forth in between time by running really fast and. Yeah, so he changing. like going through the, so the speed force. The universes. When right. he goes, yeah, when he goes through the speed force, he's able to. 
go in between uh, the multiverse yeah. for DC and stuff yeah. like that. Wow. So. And spoiler alert, that was Batman's cow. And they were in the Batcave. The Batman I know, cow. I know. I know. Right, caught me. But wait. wait a minute. Whose cow was that on the floor that was screwed up? Was that Ben Affleck's Batman? Could have been. Stop it. Could have been. Stop Ooh. it. I don't want his to Batman to go away. Me neither. I don't want no. his Batman. But supposedly to go away. he's coming back for this movie. Yeah, he's back in they this movie. They got him filming for for the Flash. He's gonna be oh. in this movie. His Batman his is Batman. in the movie. Yeah, and Michael Keaton is playing that Batman. That's the original Batman cowl. What? That's why. He, yeah, yeah, that's the original Batcave. What? That's the 1989 Batman. Shut up, mm-hmm. bro. Okay. I'm just right. wondering. Hey, <laughs> okay, DC. By Marvel. All right. Who, All which right. cow was that on the floor, though? If that was what you call it, um, Ben Affleck's Batman. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Uh, so maybe. that's Wayne Manor that they're yes, pulling up to. Yes, that's Wayne Manor. Which one though? It looks old. And that's, and that's both of the, the berries too. See all the vines and but stuff. But which one is that? Is this the, the Tim Burton? No, this is Tim Burton's. Ah. Oh, so that's the Tim Burton back t- Yeah. And why not? That new Flash suit is dope. No, that suit is fire. That's fire. straight out of like the new comics that's out right now. And um, they gave him the ring. I'm wondering who this chick is. That's his mother. You sure it's not Martha? Uh-uh. That's his mother. <laughs> See? Whose is that? Who's no, Batman? that's Batman's. Uh, that's Ben Affleck's. Go back. That's Ben, that's ben Affleck's cow. Is it really? Yeah. It has the short pointy ears on it? Yep. Uh, but you can tell by the front. Was it? Go a little bit more. Oh, shit. It's so quick. Yeah. yeah. It's very hard to tell. You can't see the, the ears on that one. Mm. They probably did that on purpose. See, but you know what I like about DC Trails so far? Being that this is the second one we're yeah, watching. Yeah, no, that's Ben Affleck, man. They give you a little bit, right? Yeah. If you watch a Marvel trail, they give you nothing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the latest Spider Man trailer gave us Doc Ock, but. It, it still doesn't give you anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this looks like it's definitely Ben Affleck. Uh, you see the Batman. blood on the floor? Ooh. Could be anything. I'm wondering. Okay. But he is in the movie, so let's see. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Right. I don't want the Ben Affleck right. Batman to go away. <laughs> Another movie I'm going to see in the theaters. Yeah, another one. Another one. <laughs> yeah, bro. If you're gonna have the old school Batman Michael Keaton show up on screen, I'm out here, bro. That's kind of dope. I, I'm out here. I'll, I'm dressing I'll up at Danny DeVito's Penguin. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this dude. <laughs> 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 gonna come up with the hands, yeah. with the little claws. Yep. Oh my god. This dude. Yep. No, I'm gonna dress up as the the that dude that was with him in that movie. Oh, uh, who the? Well, who's that actor? He's like. Um, the other one. Oh man. The old guy. He oh, has that uh, voice. With the white hair. More yeah. cowbell. More yeah, cowbell. Cow, uh, yeah. Oh man, I just had it. Uh, I forgot his name. Christopher like, Walken. Christopher, Christopher Walken. Walken. Well, who did he play in that movie? I he played like, the, the mayor. I got a Oh, the mayor? Yeah, he played the creepy more cowbell. Mayor. <laughs> All you do is got to point and click. Click. No, yeah, I'm excited for this movie. I really am. Uh, yeah. I, I yeah, want to see where, how they how they piece everything together. I appreciated this trailer more than Black Adam's trailer. This trailer. Oh yeah. yeah well, it is yeah. Flash, and there's some context to his character because a lot of people watched either watched the show or watched uh, Justice League. So, so let me ask you, DC, who defeated Flash? Who defeated Flash? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. I don't know. I don't know. Does Batman have a? It's got a weakness for everybody. <laughs> Does he have it? Yeah, he got everything. I always go back to that one comic because I love that that concept that Batman had um, a weapon to defeat everybody of the Justice League because that was just the most genius thing whoever wrote yeah, that. Yeah, you know, uh, so that's has, why I'm always like asking like, can Batman defeat that guy? Yeah, ba- Batman's got everyone's weakness, yeah. especially in um, what was the movie with uh, him and Batman vs Superman? Right. When he had Kryptonite. Right. Uh, he has everyone's weakness, and uh, because he's rich, he can has he has the resource to find their weakness and actually buy their weakness. Too. Yeah. So it's like pretty cool to to see a human being do that. That's which is in part why he's one of my favorite superheroes. Right. Is because he's just a regular 
man versus all these superheroes with powers, and he's able to sometimes defeat them. So yeah. that's why. And he's just a badass character. I mean, the yeah. guy, the guy is just looking. That's why Ben Affleck, man, he did a great. Might get flack in the comments, and I apologize, but I think Ben Affleck did a very uh, great job portraying a darker version of Batman. Agreed. I agree. To that Michael too. Keaton, well, give him. There shouldn't be. Oh well, Michael Keaton did it. Yeah, Michael Keaton was the first to do it. They did a great job. I'm a huge Tim Burton fan. I'm a huge Tim Burton Batman fan as well. But you got to pay homage to Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, I think, did a, a great yeah. job portraying that darker, darker version of a comic book style Batman. That's my opinion. There's only yep. one Batman I don't like. Christian Bale. Ooh. It's the only one oh, I don't you like. You get flack for that one, That's though. You like, jo you like George yeah, Clooney? I yes, I like bat nipples. Oh, uh, how about this one, guys? Uh, in the comments, go down to the comments and uh, <laughs> who's your favorite Batman? Out of all the Batmans that were portrayed, even in the 60s. Um, so, yeah, let us know Adam which West. Batman you think is is the best. Yeah, that's what. So, Adam West is the ultimate OG. I don't want to take uh, <laughs> take take Adam him West. away from it. But um, but uh, I think Michael Keaton also brought out a, a huge, uh, a bigger fan base for Batman. As kids growing up in the 80s, oh, they yeah. watched him. So, shout out to all the, all the guys who portray Batman except this guy. Um, but... Um, Let's see, let's see uh, how this movie comes out. And um, I just hope that they bring back Ben Affleck's Batman. And they should have. Oh, they should. His he own. needs yeah. his own movie. He needs his own movie already. Yeah. Let's stop it. Warner Brothers, I'm not giving you credit yet until you have Ben Affleck play Batman in a f solo movie. If you do that for me, then I I'll respect you. But I'm going to be a, a big critic on you guys. Hmm. <laughs> Give us the give us what we want, so give, we can give the so we can give show the these guys what real what real superheroes <laughs> are about. This dude, oh man, because he really hasn't had any. No, no, he hasn't. Yeah, he really he hasn't. Needs time. He needs his own. He needs his own. Yeah. Yep. He yeah. really does. He really does. You know How what? awesome would that be though to have and change up the villains too? It doesn't always have well, to be the Joker. It doesn't always have bro, to be the same. Bro, the, the Batman movie that Ben Affleck was supposed to come out with was Batman versus Deathstroke. I, yeah, bro, uh, 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 it uh, was going to be crazy. Especially the ending of Justice League. Yeah, when it's him and uh, Lex on Luthor the on, the, on yacht. the boat. And remember, were we in the movie theaters or something? I'm like, yeah. at the end, we <clears> stood behind and he's. That show woke up. I walked up and I'm like, "There's no way they're gonna have him." There's there was some leaks and talks, yeah. but when he came up on the boat, I'm like, "No way, <laughs> they're really gonna do this," because that is a great goddamn villain, and and yeah. and they just literally teased us. That's yep, it. that was it. Tease, bro. You and know that how guy was perfect too. Uh, need, Joe uh, Min uh, Minigello. Yeah. Oh, perfect, bro. Yeah. That's suit. That's Fire. one of the like. That's my favorite like live action suit for Death Show. Besides, like the seeing the the, the, the Titans, blue, right? it was like a navy blue. Yeah. yeah. Besides the the Titans, uh, Deathstroke, Perfect. that one was dope too. Yeah. But just seeing that him in that suit, that suit is bro spot on. Yeah, it's dope. I I I thought when he walked up, I'm like, oh, they're going there, they're going there. <laughs> and sure enough, Ben Affleck had an issue with Warner Brothers, something about the script, and he's just like, yeah, you know what, I'm not gonna do this. But good news is, is that in The Flash, he's making an appearance. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that once this movie releases, they're working on his. They're probably all working on this movie. I we, hope we, so. We, we might be talking like, oh, as if it's not going to come out or like, but I hope. I hope. That I they're hope, working man. on his movie. Yeah. I really do. I think the script is already written. And to have Batman versus Destro. Let me tell you something. Talk about movie theater. I will be in there <laughs> hours before dressed up as Batman. <laughs> Dressed up as Batman, watching that goddamn movie, bro. That 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 would be yo. Those fight scenes is gonna be epic between Absolutely. him and Deathstroke. Absolutely, they're Absolutely. like neck and neck with each other. I Absolutely. would say, and have like a, a different villain, uh, just like Tim Burton did in his films. Like, uh, and shout, shout out, Tim Burton doesn't get enough credit for those Batman movies, man. They, he really doesn't. He did a great job, especially when they came out. Like he had the Penguin, he had the the Riddler. And Two Face, he had multiple villains working with each other. Yeah. It was more of a comic book feel of those characters, which was really cool to see when growing up. And um, I so, just wish that they that they 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 come up with something 
similar with Ben Affleck to give kids to look up to Ben Affleck and be like, wow, this is yeah. so that, that those kids talk about the same way we talk about Michael Keaton. So let me ask you back to the flash. Is this going to be an origin story or is this a continuation or am I supposed to watch a TV show first and go into this? Because I know the TV show Flash is different from this Flash. Correct? Yeah, that's what I heard. A lot of people who uh, watch the Flash say that it is different between the right. two. So I'm wondering if this is going to be part origin and then Flashpoint, or well, it, it's it, they're going to tap into a little bit of the origins of the Flash, but we already seen the Flash in Justice League already, and he yeah, popped up a little bit in Suicide Squad. So but I, I heard that the f- guy who plays Flash in the TV show is phenomenal. Oh yeah, bro. And, um, I love that. Uh, I, I've heard people rant and rave about that guy, um, but it, it's just kind of odd to me that why do we have different people di- playing di- the same role, right? Like yeah. that money. Yeah, but you know, if, if if you have someone who's doing well in that character, like Flat, uh, the TV show of Flash, why not just have him as in the movie? Why not just give him that role, right? Yeah, you know, that's true. So you know how much. That would give the fans and the fans. I'm not, you know, dismissing what uh, what's his name, Ezra. 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 So, I I think that uh, you know the show should start taking the people who uh, took these roles and did a great job and just give them the movie, the movie it, role. It's crazy to think like they don't even have this movie finished and they already came out with a little teaser for it. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, a lot of movies do that, though. A lot yeah. of movies, yeah. They, they, they. It's not that they're fi- finished. They're probably doing reshoots. Right. Yeah. So the film is probably already shot. So they right. just come yeah. up with whatever, or they have the sequence already done and they just piece it together. Mm. So yeah. yeah. But, I, but I'm excited, man. That would be crazy if DC adds the TV flash to this movie. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Trill Boys on they another will, level. They Trill will, Boys orbiting if above they did us right that, now. If they did that, that I'll give them wild. much respect because then that means they beat out Marvel before Marvel did it. Yep. Yeah, that is true. Yep. Because, because Marvel's trying to do it right now. No, Marvel That's did what it, though. That's we've been waiting for. Kind what? of, a little bit. What? In um, Scar- uh, Scarlet Witch um, um, with the X-Men. Remember? What? The brother. Oh, oh yeah, but that was. Uh, you mean like they kind of tapped into it a little bit, though? Yeah, they were. The that, first that's the to... reverse. They're taking the movie character and putting it as a TV show. I'm talking the TV show character so into, uh, put it into yeah. a movie. I got what you're like, they Coincide had numerous times to do that. Marvel yeah. with Agents of Shield, and then all the Netflix Marvel shows because they took place in the MCU and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. they had numerous times to add them to certain movies and stuff like that, but. Just never happened. Like, because the thing is, is that at that time, Marvel Studios and Marvel TV was two separate entities. Gotcha. But they were under the same umbrella. Yeah. So there was Mm. two different people running it. But now, because I think it was two years ago, uh, Kevin Feige now is in charge of Marvel TV and movies. Gotcha. So he took over. Yeah. So now this is why we're seeing the TV shows on Disney Plus. And now we're going to see... Some of these characters from like Agents of Shield and um, the Netflix series now pop up into the MCU finally. Gotcha. Have their gotcha. debut. Yeah. And stuff like that. So. Okay. Yeah. Well. But, uh, yeah. Dude, uh, I, 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 all jokes aside, between the Marvel and DC stuff, I really like the, the direction that they're both going into, messing around with this multiverse thing, because you know how I, I am with. Uh, all that you know, traveling through time and stuff. I love, I love it. So I, I enjoy it. Like especially, I'm really looking forward to the uh, the uh, universe, the madness. What is it? The uh, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange, multiverse, multiverse of madness. madness. Yeah, um, bro, that's looking, gonna be that, retarded. That movie probably gonna blow out no, everything yeah. else. That oh, yeah. is going to be retarded. My, my thing is that the visuals that come along with Doctor Strange, that first film. Oh whoop. yeah, it was phenomenal. It and was then, like Inception on crack. Yep. Right. And yeah. it's almost like Ant-Man, too. When Ant-Man goes into the... To the quantum realm. The quantum realm. Yep. Those yeah. visuals. Awesome. Yeah. It's nuts. But, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. looking forward to this. I, I, Same here. This is... Uh, hey, Michael Keaton's in it. If he is in it. Batman, old Batmobile? Sold. <laughs> sold. 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 I'll be in heaven. He's so crying I'll inside. be in heaven. Uh, He's I'm going to be crying. He's like a little kid. I'm going to be crying in the movie theater. <laughs> You're going to be... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right guys. Catch you next time. Yeah.
Thank you for uh, tuning in. Make sure to like, share, and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to this channel if you like our content. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Last Slice trailer reaction. This is The Flash, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later.